Hey, it's Sunny here and welcome to Sunny DIY. You guys asked for more upcycle DIYs and since they are my favorite type of DIY, I am happy to deliver. So this week, I am making magnetic bookmarks. They are super fast to make. I make them for my books, my notebooks, and all the books and notebooks for my entire family. I have seriously had to stop making them because they are like everywhere in my house. They are super cute and the best part is that you can personalize them so you can even make it uh, as little gifts for your friends just for no reason. And um, yeah, so if you have any other requests, feel free to leave it in the comment section down below and I promise I'll read it and do my best to fulfill them. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. I really appreciate it and let's get started. I always get a lot of fridge magnet calendars sent to my house and today I'm going to recycle it to make some super cute magnetic bookmarks. I went onto the internet and printed out some floral patterns. I also found these pencil and bacon prints that I think will make really cute bookmarks. Then I went ahead and cut them out. I will leave the link to the pencil and bacon print patterns in the description box down below if you want to make the same ones. The website also have other patterns as well. With the floral prints, I am just going to cut them into strips. Next, play the cutout onto the magnet sheets. I am going to hold it in place with a paper clip, then cut out the magnet in the same shape. If you don't get magnetic calendars sent to your house, you can also buy magnet sheets or strips from online or your local craft stores. Fold the magnet in half so it sticks to itself. You want to firmly press down at the fold, then apply a generous amount of glue to the print and glue it to the magnet while it's folded. If you're having a hard time to fold the magnet, it may also help to cut the magnet in half and glue it onto the print piece by piece, so it folds nicely. As a final step, trim off any excess edges for a more polished look. Then go ahead and use it. Using the same method, I also made a number of other bookmarks. If you play the popular mobile game Two Dots, you may recognize the character Emily. Aside from using it as bookmarks, you can also use the magnet to hang up notes and reminders on your bulletin board. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked it and will make it for yourself. Remember to subscribe for more DIY videos every Thursday. So this coming Sunday is the Chinese Awesome Festival and that's when we eat mooncakes. So I was thinking like when I first came to Canada, it's like Thanksgiving, what's Thanksgiving? But um, now that I think about it, it's actually the equivalent to the Chinese Autumn Festival. And um, because Thanksgiving celebrates autumn, Autumn Festival hopefully celebrates autumn. Yeah, I think it's the same thing, but I'm not sure. You have to double check on that. So we eat mooncakes during the Autumn Festival and this year I actually had a whole box. It was like a variety pack. They have lots of different weird flavors some I did not like. So yeah, I got it like two weeks ago and about a week and a half ago I finished it. <laughs> so I don't have any for the actual holiday. That's what happens. So there is like a whole variety of mooncakes. I remember back when I was younger, when I was in China, and uh, I'm from the north so we had a specific kind of mooncakes that's had like all these different nuts. I know it sounds awesome, but it wasn't that great. So I always did not like uh, mooncakes, but when I came to Canada, and now like you have Chinese people from like all parts of China in like one area, there's like all different types of mooncakes, and I had a lot of the uh, southern area mooncakes, and they are like super sweet. They have like um, salty duck eggs and like I know it sounds weird, but it's delicious. Now I love mooncakes, they are really awesome. And if you don't like mooncakes, I'm sure you just haven't found the right one. You can't go wrong with it. And I remember when I was in Hong Kong in 2010, that's when they first came out with the Bing Pei Yue, uh, mooncake. And I never seen one. I was like, oh my god, this is amazing. So I bought one, it cost like 50, um, 50 Hong Kong dollars, which is about like a uh, 15 no i have no idea how much it cost i forgot so yeah so i bought one i remember it was expensive and uh i had it it was awesome and i never had it again so that was fun 